Okay, you guys, good morning. I am in the front of the house. I actually am deciding to, I've got my shears here. I lucked up on these four extra shears from off uh, the marketplace several months ago, and I was so excited. It was the same pattern that I had purchased already from a secondhand shop, and uh, it was exactly the same pattern, So, and I just needed enough for this one. But I love all my shears. I really, truly enjoy them um, with the embroidery on them. So what I'm doing now, since I just recently added a textured glass, like it's kind of like a translucent, like a textured glass uh, film to the window here. So I recently added this film to the window just to give us more privacy because our neighbors are really close on each side of the house. So actually our driveways kind of connect here, which that's the neighbor on that side. And then the neighbor on the other side, uh, that's kind of like a portion of our side yard and then their driveway. So I decided since I have the textured film on this window and I'm, ha I'm gaining more privacy, I also have my um, top down, bottom up uh, cellular shade. So that is a light filtering, but it's also, uh, you can't, you know, obviously see through it when I close it. It's going to make the dining room just seem a little bit uh, not as heavy. Um, having an actual full sheer here on this window, if that makes sense. Um, my only discrepancy with this window is that I like when the swag is meeting right on the top of the window frame for these particular types of shears here. Uh, the longer ones are fine going to the ceiling or close to the ceiling, but these ones need to actually, because they should be right on top your window frame basically because they're shorter shears they're shorter you know your swag and your balance is shorter so i will have to end up moving uh this down my rod just by a little bit because these are going to just be up way too high and it's just not going to look right so i'm going to have to i'm still keeping my tool in the front here on my ceiling um my ceiling um little whatever they're calling those ceiling tracks but as for these smaller windows i can drop the curtain rods down All just right, you little. guys so this is what i was referring to just saying that the uh valence was going to sit up way too high so we're going to drop that down um today we're going to drop the valence down and then so what i was able to do with my so i have my well not the valence the swags my fault so this is my one set of swags here and then this is my second set of swags, which is just perfect for these two windows out here. Uh, this space, I do not want to have a curtain. It's just, you know, we walk back and forth through here. Uh, I want this space to feel open and airy, and it's just not going to give you that feel if I have a big, huge set of curtains right here. So, and I do have cellular shades. We have cellular shades, um, honeycomb shades treatments throughout the entire house. So. Uh, we really don't even technically have to have, you know, curtains, but I like to layer my sheer on top of the shade because it gives us a little extra layer of privacy, of course. So I was able to take the panel down from this window. So what I did this week, I added this textured translucent uh, kind of glass film to the to this window and another window in the second bedroom because we wanted more privacy that the houses kind of sit close together where we're at. This is our other neighbor's driveway and, you know, they come in and out of here and, you know, we just want to add an extra layer of privacy to this window. So we have the textured glass film, which I'm loving. Um, so you kind of, it's, it's a medium um, kind of grade of privacy from the exterior. It's cause it's translucent. You can still see in, but it's not clear. Like it gives you like a, you know, textured glass type of look. So that's the look that I wanted. I did not want to filter any of the light, which is why I went with this translucent textured film. So as y'all can see, it's not preventing any of my light from coming in here. I'm still getting that light, which is what I wanted. And like I said, I do have cellular shades all through the house. So I like, like I said, I do not even technically have to have these curtains, but 
I like the layered look of these shears on top of the shades and pretty much that would be it for me. I would not go with a full curtain because it just would look make the space look too heavy and that's not the look I'm going for. So this is what it is. We have to drop that that swag down. We have to drop that down. So I'm going to drop that down. I'm going to have my husband drop that down today. Um, and this one's already down. So I'm probably going to do this one the same height as this one. And then these two should still be fine because um, it's kind of like a conjoined space between our dining room and sitting room. And um, same shears like throughout. So I'm happy about that. Uh, aside from the back, which the back family room has a different set of white shears. All up front, aside for this window, I have all top down, bottom up cellular shades. So they do help with, they're very energy efficient. So when I close them at night, even with my shears, I get up and I do have a little bit of condensation on the windows. And that is a good thing. That means your windows are doing what they're supposed to do. They're keeping the heat in and the cool air out. And with, in conjunction with my cellular shades, it's even more efficient. So anyway, what I did with the valances is now they're all matching out here, obviously, which they were before. But what I did with my extra valances, you guys, is I brought them to the second bedroom because I just so love this style of valances. And I do have cellular shades in here as well. So in the bedrooms, I have the blackout versions. So these are just the blackout. And then the ones in the front bedroom are the day and night. So I have the shears on those as well as the blackout. So it's kind of like a two-in-one shade. So this window, I just went halfway up because I was like, it's the second bedroom. You know, you can't really see in from up there. And that's why I have the valance there. So I'm just really loving this look. Like I don't even have to close the shades at night if I don't want to. <laughs> That's what I love about having that textured glass film there. I still do close them to kind of like keep the heat in because they're good with, you know, keeping the heat, you know, obviously inside. So I will still close them for that reason. But I'm loving these two extra balances in here because this window overlooks the sunroom. So we really don't need, um, that window is already private. Like nobody can see in there. So we really don't need a curtain on that window. And then this window is the only exterior window. And since I added the, the textured glass film, like you practically can't see anything in here. It's super private. You can like see like shapes of things, but it's not clear. There's like a texture, like you, you really can't see a whole lot with, with that on there. But again, like the window in the dining room, I, I didn't want to like lose any of my light. And I think having the balances in here kind of opens up the space a little bit more. It makes the room, I think, feel bigger since the valances are shorter. It kind of gives you a, a more open feel in this room and that's kind of what I was going for in this space. So I'm super, super happy. And if I want an extra layer of privacy, I can just pull my shades down. I mean, it's not a big deal. So anyways, with that being said, um, that's kind of what's going on in this second bedroom. I gotta drop those valances down just a little bit. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna have my husband help me do that when he gets home. I was super happy I was able to put them in that second bedroom. So now there's kind of like a flow throughout like the house. And it's pretty nice. Like I really, 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 really love these shears. I. Uh, thrifted these all brand new in the packages and I was super excited because the I just I just love them like I they're my favorite shears I wish I had enough for the back end of the house but I didn't get that lucky so uh, I do have enough just for the entire front end of the house which is perfect that's all you guys um I hope you all are well and um I will catch you guys later. I hope y'all uh, enjoyed seeing uh, my little tiny little project for this Friday morning, which was uh, lastly just moving my rods down, but getting all my valances and swags hung up in the house on the windows that needed them and kind of moving some of my, um, I didn't have to move these shears over here, but I did move um, 
my valance is off these shears. So I had to remove them from off the shear. So I did that. And then I removed the swag from off the one shear, which I don't need now in this space because we have the film on the window. Now, if I ever remove the film, of course, I'll have that panel left and I'll be able to put it on this window. But for now, I just don't see the point of, it's just not necessary. It's just not necessary. So, um, with the film on the window. So anyways, that is it. I hope you all are well and I will catch you all later.